Morning guys, how are we doing? Welcome to today's video. And uh, today I'm gonna go down second road. The reason being is uh, quite a few people asked me where the TT exchanges that I made mention to. So I thought, well, I'll show you where that is. And I thought we'd just have a look around and see what's going on. There's been some changes going on, the stuff to uh, be aware about. And I thought we'd just have a little casual walk down. I say casual, it's roasting, bloody boiling today. But anyway, not to worry. So, right, uh, let me spin the camera around. We are right here at the very beginning of second row. Quick point to note, guys, you see where the bar buses are just in front of us up there? If you see them parked up, don't get on them because they will sit there and wait until they fill up. What you want to do is just walk down a little bit further and then jump on one that's moving because if they park up here, uh, you are going to be there for a while. So where are we? So over there, you see the police box? That's the, this is the beginning now. It's the beginning of the second road. And just over there, you can see it once this park bus gets out of the way. There you go, the yellow TT straight there. That is where you get the best rates. And uh, we'll have a walk down and I'll showcase that in a minute. Right, so I'll tell you what is noticeable is right now, uh, there's a good vibe in the city at the moment. Seems to be uh, quite positive. Seems to be a few more people coming out here, which is good. We need you out here, guys. Come out, you'll have a great time. So there seems to be a bit of an uplift in, uh, in the, the entertainment zones right now. Uh, but there's the TT over there. It says there, look, Patea, best rate. If you pop your head in that right-hand side there, go speak to the manager, and uh, they'll give you the best rate they can. Now, if I had my eyes done by now, I'd have been able to read that, but I can't. So what we'll do, there's another one up here. We'll see what the rate is. I think it's about 45 something. But, uh, which is quite nice. There's the, uh, this is the second road entrance to Mike Mall, Mike Shopping Mall. Go in there, uh, you can get all your, all your different uh, shady t-shirts and stuff like that. If you're heading there, go right down to the far end, the very far end there by the beach road end. And uh, here goes the TT just here. Let's see what today's, see what today's rate is. I'm sure it's around 45 something. Here we go, right, US dollar 35.5. The Euro 38.7, British pound 45.35, Aussie dollar 23.35. So they're the rates of today. And uh, I don't know, I don't think it'll ever get to 50. I don't think it'll ever return that way, but you can always hope. As you can see, they're still doing the roadworks. Still continuously doing stuff here, trying to improve the, uh, the roads. And this is the area here, this is up there, this is Boys Town. Uh, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to work out that's the gay boy area. So, uh, you know, each to their own. I don't have any issues with that whatsoever. It doesn't make me, uh, I'm not a homophobic. So if you are, uh, you know, if you are gay, then come up to this area here. It's, uh, it's, it's quite busy. And uh, standing on the back of the Bart bus, you see that there, if, not that it'll ever happen, but if the police wanted to, they could actually find you for that. Should be for cases. And uh, just one place there, we're now, if we look up there, look, that's 13.4. And a place that you need to pop into, go and say hello to Peter in the classroom. He's got a nice hotel at the top there. You can stay there, it's a nice area. And Peter's a legend, he's been here a long, long time. I keep trying to twist his arm and get him to come and do an interview with me because he's got some stories he can tell you. Uh, but unfortunately, he's not really keen on the camera, which is fine, you know, everybody's different. But if you do want to catch up with him, go in there. He's in there most days and uh, he's a really nice guy. But yeah, the stories he can tell you, oh, fantastic. And uh, that's Soy there, you see where the blue car's just coming out? That is the, uh, the start of Soy 15. If you walk all the way up there, uh, it's not very far, but if you walk up there, that will eventually bring you up to Carando's and eventually takes you up to Dynamite, opposite the, um, uh, the uh, Bacal Hospital. And it's a, it's a neat, neat little cut through. And when I say walk all the way out there, it's not all that way, it's probably about a five minute walk, I guess. Look at that skydiving, skydiving, there you go, look at that. I've got to do my skydiving. I really need to do it. My blood pressure's getting good now. But if you come out on holiday, you know, come and see these people, because they can organise all kinds of stuff for you. You know, half day visit there. No riding the elephants, it's just, oh, that looks quite nice, actually. Elephant Jungle Sanctuary. No riding, well that's nice, that actually looks quite nice, I'll do that. Half day visit, commentary drink, traditional time ill, food, travel insurance. Oh wow. Pick up, pick up. For the elephant, tell I come. Song pan gao. Song pan gao ha. Song pan gao ha. Song pan gao ha. Okay. Okay, okay, copy them up. I mean that batch, I. 
Do I want to? Pop them up. Oh, thank you, Cap. Pop them up. Right. There you go. Look. Patea Travel Service. Patea Land Travel Service. And uh, they do all these. So 2,950 baht for that. I'm going to do that. I think that's great. I like it when they rescue the animals. I'm an animal lover. I hate seeing the cruelty to animals. And there's a, there's a new, I'm going to bring it out in the video soon. There's a cafe here, which uh, AD very kindly sent me an email. Thank you, AD. Uh, said, Trevor, there's a place called uh, Creep and Crawl Snake Cafe. So they've got a lot of reptiles and stuff. So I'm going to go check that one out. He did suggest getting beer to go in there, but uh, number one, that just wouldn't happen. She'd hit the roof. And number two, the problem is, is that, you know, the, the, uh, the girls and beer, they, you know, they work late. So they spend most of their morning sleeping. So to get her to come in early, just going to do that, not really going to happen. But I'm um, looking forward to seeing what it's like. I don't know how I'm going to deal with it, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm not scared of uh, snakes and, and uh, spiders, but uh, I believe in this place you can, you can handle them. I'm not sure I'm up for that, but we'll, only one way to find out, we'll go and have a look. These ones yet to open, know what's going on there. No idea. But uh, there's another package tour, please. And these places, all right, listen, you know, they are going to mark the prices up. You know that. And of course, people say, well, you just do it yourself, go on your own. But if you want someone to take all the, all the worries out of it, strains and stresses out of it, then these aren't too bad. I've done that. Who remembers my video there? The magical ice of Siam. I went there with my wife and her daughter, and it was absolutely free. And it's real snow. I didn't expect that. I just thought it was a gimmick. But it's actually real snow inside. They've got a snow generating machine. And uh, I was frozen, frozen solid. I make no excuses. North and South Indian restaurant here, Chotiwala. I didn't realise, and I, I, I know I'm thick, you know, it's not, not stately obviously, I know that. Um, but I didn't realise that these uh, restaurants, not restaurants, sorry, that India was regionalised in terms of the food they offer. When I went to Goa, I went to Goa, I was over in uh, India, I had a fantastic time, amazing place, amazing country. And what I will say is uh, the, the difference in attitude and the way they conduct themselves in India is uh, far, far different to some of the experiences you may suffer out here. But I went to Goa and it was brilliant. And I asked for a chicken vindaloo. He looked at me and said, that's an English dish. I'm like, what are you on about? It's not English. He said, a vindaloo is an English dish. He said, we have things by regions. So uh, he educated me on that, but I didn't realise so. And I never got my chicken mindaloo either. Now there you go, have a look at that bad boy. That's some pounds, shillings and pence there. Oh, I wonder what that would cost. I reckon that's got to be, I don't know, what do you think guys? I'm going to guess, I'll say 10 million baht. I'm probably way out, I've got no idea, but we'll say 10 million baht, that's what I think. What do you reckon? Have a guess, how much for a Bentley? Remember you've got the import duties and all the rest of it to add on. It ain't going to be cheap. It really ain't. No, oh, look. An old Sovereign. The Jaguar Sovereign. Classic car day today. Look how long that is. Back in the day, that was the bee's knees. Talking about the bee's knees. If you're looking for something nice, and I mean nice, to stay the Avani. Right here. There, right in front of me, the purple building, the Avani. Very, very nice. And uh, that there, you see the red aeroplane? That is the Royal Garden Plaza. And do you remember I did the video about uh, the palace, the Lebanese restaurant? Oh, man, the food in there is just phenomenal. Recommend it, recommend it, recommend it. Go in there, guys. Mention Buzzing. And uh, I think the promotion is still running. If you mention Buzzing, I think you get uh, 10% or 15% of your bill. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember off the top of my head. But go in there, guys. It's brilliant. And all you got to do, I've been waffling and I walked past it. Hang on. Yeah, so all you got to do is go through that door go through there and walk to the very end where Beach Road in and just before you exit the uh, the mall on the right hand side there you'll see it go in there the palace very very good great food and talking of good food Zaika Zaika Indian restaurant tandoori and curry I've eaten there many times very very good food I'm okay thank you I'm welcome. yeah very very good food but yeah going back to the Avani there's the Avani there and uh, very very nice with the Avani though, the one thing to be aware of is I'm not quite sure about joiners. 
Uh, it, I'm not sure on the policy there, so best to check. I would always recommend booking the route with two people, and that way you avoid any, uh, any confusion, any issues. And across the road there, you see where it's a ruined Thai restaurant again. You know, I wish there was more hours. Well, actually, no, I don't wish there was more hours in the day because I'd just work longer hours. But uh, I wish I had more time available where I could go to something like Ruin Thai, a very, very uh, long standing restaurant, a traditional Thai restaurant. I would like to go in there and do that. And also, just up there, you got Casa Pascal. Go and see Pascal, he's an incredible character. His attention to detail is razor sharp. Just up there on the right. So, see the purple sign there where the cars are? That's where it is there. Go in there, guys. Food is very, very good quality. And uh, it's Dicey Riley's. I haven't been in there for ages, to be honest. I haven't been in there for a while, I don't know. Uh, opens at 12 noon until 11 o'clock in the evening. 12 until 11. Whew. Tell you what, it's hot. I ain't gonna lie, it's hot. And I know, I haven't got a hat on. I know. I get moaned at by Peter, and I know you mean well. I know you, you know, you've got my interest at heart. I understand that. But, uh, yeah, I'm just lazy and forgetful and stupid. So when you put those three together, winner, winner, chicken dinner. It's a massage place here. Oh. I'm okay, thank you very much, thank you. 7-Eleven. Now right here, this is the start of some of the beer complexes. This is Soy 13-2. Well, let's get across here. And uh, if you go down, down there on the left hand side that's where Manny Rat travel services are and uh, she'll take care of visas and stuff like that. very very good there's lots of bars down there it's a good area nice area and uh, the Badiga bar long standing bar here look Panini 120 bar I can't even pronounce that Focus here I, I don't know Boris 120 and cold cuts 240 making me hungry I need to eat soon oh. across the road there that is the uh, the Avenue Mall. And of course upstairs, Robin Nest. And Robin's Nest, you tit. Robin Hood, sorry. I don't know what I thought Robin Hood, but anyway, there's Robin Hood up there. Go up there, go and see Max and Gaz. Brilliant guys. And uh, very, very good quality food. Very, very good. Here's the wonderful beer bar. And you'll often find a lot of guys in these bars. It's a good place to meet up with people, chat to people and you know make make new acquaintances, new friends. A lot of expats will, will hang out there. So if you are traveling on your own and you want to uh, meet people, you know the meetups on the subject of meeting people, you know, we do a lot of bar calls with a one on a Monday and a Friday from the Buzzing Lounge. Uh, Tuesdays over at Cat Flaps, Wednesdays down at John Tien, Maggie Mason John Tien, it's a new bar at Stevens Open. Thursday back over to uh, Maggie Mays across the road there from the Buzzing Lounge. Friday obviously as I said the Buzzing Lounge. Saturday, um, can't think what we do Saturday now. I've forgotten one I know I have. But uh, yeah, get in touch, just uh, jump, jump in our Discord. Our Discord, it's all in there. Okay, so, uh, where are we now? Oh yeah, wonderful bar two and the welcome. There's the meeting point. Well, I've got one, mate. What's going on with it? There's the meeting point. That's another good place uh, for expats. What's going on? I think the sun's got me, got to me. I'm mixing my words and my names up. Uh, one place that I do know, and I won't get the name wrong, is here, the Lek Hotel. Uh, good central location, 700 baht, 790 baht a night. Uh, they've got a big swimming pool in there. I've got a friend who stays there religiously. He comes on holiday and he's in there all the time and uh, he highly recommends it. I've been in there, it's a nice pool. I've not stayed there. So, uh, but yeah, the Lek Hotel, 790 baht. Pharmacy, 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 over there. Right, so let's get your bearings. This is the Avenue Mall. There's the entrance for the exit, the entrance exit for the car park. And just here, you've got the 7-Eleven and next door, you see it there, the pharmacy. That is where you go in there. Go and see the guy in there, him and his mother. Uh, they will take good care of you. You can get all kinds of stuff in there. You are not uh, going to be disappointed. What have we got here? Look, taxis to the airport. 1,100, 1,400 Bangkok Hotel. Don Moyen, oh, 1,500. 
Long Nooch. Is that a floating market? I need to go to the floating market. Do you remember the fire? Remember the big fire that happened? I'm not quite sure uh, how it's panned out. Uh, let's see what this up here. Flipping pound Moolsap, 120 baht. Now I know you're paying for the restaurant and everything else, but if you got that on a side stall, that'd be 40 baht. But I'm not, you know, listen, you're paying for the, the seats in the air, you know, the ambience and stuff, it's not, you know, it's just a typical markup. Uh, crispy pork, pound wool gop. Nice. Noodles there. And if you are into noodle soup, try quit the wool dum yam. But you need to be able to eat spicy. Oh, Jesus. It's okay, thank you. If I'm sitting with a right hole there. You know, I'm, these guys amaze me how they work. It's amazing. In this heat as well. And we are talking brutal heat. I don't know what they're doing down there. They're digging something down there. Don't know. Fair play to them. You know, Thai people. Hello. I'm okay, thank you. Uh, yeah. Let's have a look. Foot massage, 200 bar. Thai massage, 200. Head massage, 200. Oil, 300. Head with coconut massage. Oh, you know, no customers today. Oh, well. I've, I've got to go and do some stuff. Uh, maybe next time. I can't do it right now, but thank you. You want today? Okay. She's got no customer. She wants it today. There you go, guys. Come down. Come and get a head massage with a coconut. Ooh, cases and bags. I was talking about something now. I forgot what I was talking about. The trouble is I can't replay it to remind, remind myself what I was talking about. Oh, never mind. Sports shirts here. All your shorts. So I'm looking at you. Oh. All your different training tops. Caps. T-shirts. Oh no, sorry, training shirts, not T-shirts. So it's like another in there. Oh well, look at these Bobby Dazzlers. Flip it That's something Michael would wear. There you go, different T-shirts here. Oh, I can't stay here. Melting. Right, let's go back up here. Oh. Right, nice little beer bar comments over there. Uh, Smiley Avenue. And uh, if you like live music, see the one on the left here where that blue and yellow taxi is just left. There's a band there to play. And uh, they're very, very good. Very, very good. Go check them out. You got your shoulder bags, sports bags, tattoos. I love the tattoos. Nowadays, I mean, when I had mine done, they were awful. But nowadays, you know, the imagination, the thought that goes into these designs and the ability for them to, to create these artworks, just phenomenal. Fair play to that. But like I said, when I was, uh, when I was doing my tattoos, it was a case of uh, pick, pick the number on the wall and that was it, a lick and stick job. Uh, over there, got Kiss Food. But if you go through that archway, see the archway there? On the right hand side, you've got Patrick's Steakhouse. If you like your steak, he's arguably one of the best steakhouses in the city. Just up there on the right hand side, go in there and go and see Patrick. He's a lovely guy, really nice guy. And uh, he's got some stories he can tell you as well. But he's a really, really nice guy. And the food in there is just fantastic. Really good food. And uh, over, there, over there, this is quite new, this is new, this area a bit here. And uh, all your fruit and veg. Over there's the edge. Who stayed in the edge? I've not stayed in there. Anybody stayed in the edge? Drop a comment down below. What was it like, guys? What's your stay like? It's a big building, look right about there. Whew. All the way up there, that's nice. But the edge, yeah, I'm not staying. If you follow it up, just go up to the side there, that'll take you straight into Soy Macau. That's called Soy Diana in front of us. Oh no, you can see another tour. Tiger Park, shoot a gun. Oh, no thanks, I've done, I've done that for six years. I don't want to be shooting anymore. I don't even know what the, what the main weapon is now that the army use. It used to be the SLR, then it was the SA-80. And I've got no idea what they're using now. If it, I can't imagine it's still the SA-80. I should, should imagine that's gone now, is it? I don't know who's a, who's a serving member or, or just recently left the army. What's the, uh, what's the uh, go-to weapon that uh, the infantry are using nowadays? Back when I was there, it was a GPMG, SMG, and the, uh, the rifles. The SLR. 
Right, okay. I think that'll uh, wrap us up today. I'm gonna walk down to the beach road and we'll have a wander up in a minute. Whew. Okay, so there we are, that's today's video guys. Like I said, just a wander, wander around, just uh, showcase what's going on, bits and pieces. And uh, what I'll do is I'm gonna walk down the beach road and uh, have a bit of a rest. All right, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, please remember, hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon. If you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video, uh, check out Instagram. If you like nightlife here, check out our Instagram. It's going to strength strength. We put loads of videos in there, nightlife videos as well. So uh, you'll enjoy that. Check out our TikTok for daytime, uh, beaches, hotels, restaurants, all that kind of stuff. TikTok there. Uh, and if you're not in our Discord, join us on Discord. Over 17,000 members in there now. Totally free of charge. Instagram, TikTok, uh, the Discord, it's all free of charge. Go in there, guys. You get a wealth of information. It'll definitely help you when you're coming out here planning your holiday. And if you would like to support the channel, uh, please email me, 247pate at gmail.com. I'll send you a link to support the channel, and you can get access to our members-only uh, Discord channel. And what we do there is we preview the videos so you get to see them first. There's content in there we don't share anywhere else. And it's just a way of supporting me and helping me go and do my things. I'm going to do 90 minutes with Patea, drive around. I've got to go and buy a car soon. Oh, man. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Please, as always, wherever you are in the world, stay safe.